All right, guys, we are in Vandalia, Illinois, and we are staring at an abandoned Long John Silvers, the many in this area that are abandoned. We'll take a look here at the, yeah, see the signs are all out. Uh, no longer in service here in Vandalia. I was just gonna take a look at it real quick. While we were over here, they haven't repurposed it for anything yet. I know some of them are, are getting repurposed, but we're getting quite a few of these uh, that are out of business. <clears throat> the Mattoon one, I would filmed it. It's out of business. Let's see if we can go back here real quick. Yeah. I think this one closed in 2019 or 2020 was something like that but I thought I'd get over here and catch it in a little bit better video quality see if we can see inside I needed to be here a little earlier there's the inside right there you can see look at that it has that cool uh, logo up there fantastic flaky fish it says with a cool car in the background yeah it's completely cleared out <clears throat> completely cleared out Let's see if we can move back a little bit yeah you wonder if they're going to repurpose this for anything again this is the uh, Long John Silvers in Vandalia Illinois it's kind of tucked back in the corner a little bit uh, Vandalia so it's right off the interstate though I'm sure they did pretty good business right here off the interstate but like I said unfortunately just about every small town that I go to whether it's Mount Carmel Salem um, Centralia all these Long Johns are going out of business unfortunately if we can see inside on this side. This is the other side here. Still got a mop bucket in there. Yeah. Still got the fish design and stuff like that over on the wallpaper. So the only thing that's missing on this thing is the uh, character. I haven't seen a lot of those with the, you know, they used to have the swords across the, uh, the door. This one doesn't have that. I'm sure it probably did. And then we also have the, uh, remember the ropes and uh, like the dock look where I actually had some character. Well, no longer. Still like it's in pretty good shape inside still. Still looks pretty good to me on the inside. Yep. Looks like someone's been in there. Maybe someone's cleaned it up before. It looks like it's clean inside. Like I said, there's a mop bucket in there. All right, warning, do not use plumbing system. Commercial Asset Preservation has performed the following services, winterization of plumbing, winterization of sprinklers, and that was 730 of 2020. Hmm. So, I don't know what they're going to do with it. Pretty interesting, though. Like I said, it's an interesting. I hate to see these go. I really do. You know, um, but like I said, I'm, I've been. This is my Long John Silver series. I've been uh, trying to hit as many of these as I can because, like I said, so many of them are going out of business right now. So um, they're easy ones to to do. And uh, I can remember coming here as a kid. You know, uh, many years ago. So, like I said, it's it's definitely. Uh, Definitely hard to see these uh, these these go for sure. Plus, I love the hush puppies, and I love the clams and all that good stuff. I wonder if there's anything. Yeah, it's what well, yeah. Doors are locked. <clears throat> yeah, it's locked. It's too bad. I'd like to get in and see a little more of it. 
like I said, you did. This used to be a Days Inn right behind us here. No longer uh, Days Inn. It's uh, renamed Quality, a uh, Quality Inn. But this is the back area of it, right here. Like I said, it could be repurposed for something. Um, someone would could grab a hold of it. It's pretty nice still inside. Still in pretty good shape. Hasn't been empty that long. So, like I said, I want to say it was 2019, 2020. Someone had, had uh, I'd seen on Facebook and said something about it. Fans are still going, as you can see up there. But yeah, I love the character of uh, the Long John Silvers, the buildings. Like I said, with the swords across the uh, doors, um, the dock look. That's that's kind of what drew me to this as well. So uh, for all these years, but I'm gonna keep catching them. Um, I did one in Bradley. Um, let's see, I did one. I know Mount Carmel. I just saw one in Mount Carmel. Uh, someone had contacted me about Centralia. Doing one in Centralia. Uh, Matt Toons is out of business. Charleston's. Uh, the one in Taylorville, Illinois, it turned into a um, insurance company. I was looking for it. And you can still tell it was a Long John Silvers, but it's an insurance company now. So some of them are being repurposed. But anyways, this is the abandoned Long Johns. I want to get it on better video quality. I know I'd put it on before, but I definitely just wanted to show it to you guys. Vandalia, Illinois. Uh, and this will be the first of the series. I'm going to be do, redoing the Mattoon one. Um, I'm going to try to get down to Mount Carmel. <clears throat> There's quite a few of them that I want to get down to, to to film. And then I'm going to have them all on my channel as well. So, <clears throat> And maybe I can luck out and get into one of these. One or two of these that I film. Because I'd like to get inside and see what it looks like on the inside. Of course, this one's all locked up. I didn't try the front windows, but... Anyways, it's interesting. Definitely interesting uh, to see. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more Long John Silver series on my YouTube channel. Because we're going to be doing them. Everyone I can hit. So... Stay tuned for that, and like I said, maybe we can luck out and get into some of these places too. So, all right, guys, over and out. We'll see you on the next video. Keep up with my train videos, those are coming up as well. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I went to New Harmony, Indiana, that those videos are coming up. So, just stay tuned to my channel. Uh, please subscribe, and over and out. We'll see you on the next video.